Fighting Games on the Market is back, and we have the review. Here's a review of Soul Calibur 3. Soul Calibur is unquestionably one of the 800-pound ninja gorillas of the fighting game world. However, in a first for the series, Soul Calibur 3 takes a step or two backwards in its return to the stage of history. Begin, you loathsome creature. Okay, you f***ing shit bird. Once again, the evil sword Soul Edge threatens the world, and a menagerie of melee happy maniacs takes to the medieval tournament circuit to claim and or destroy it. I don't care how power mad I am, I draw the line at soul-sucking swords that stare back at me. Since Namco still refuses to put online play in the damn game, a gaggle of modes are packed in to keep you busy. You can take each warrior through his or her storyline, told using a choose-your-own-adventure combination of text and interactive cutscenes. While the AI has a tendency to jump from super easy to slit your throat impossible in the blink of an eye, the game is still a pleasing balance of skill and button mashing. <laughs> Hope you like the cutscenes, by the way, since you can't skip them. Ever. I'm annoyed. One of the big draws is the exceptionally comprehensive create a character feature. You can slap together just about any hero imaginable using dozens of costume pieces and weapon styles unlocked by purchasing them in the item shops which are, of course, run by hot babes. Are you looking for anything in particular? You can also do this for hours. Or maybe that's just me. In truth, you're mostly just dressing up the primary character's animation cycles in new pants, but it does add some fresh faces to the mix. <laughs> Using a created character is the only way you can play the Chronicles of the Sword game, which is a real-time strategy game that uses fighting matches to decide battles. The variety provided by the numerous newcomers is both refreshing and, at times, unfortunate. Don't hold back next time. Between this guy's outfit and the chick who fights with tambourines, there are no winners here. I'll take you anytime you want. If we wanted to siege castles, we wouldn't be playing Soul Calibur. Chronicles of the Sword is a poor substitute for the weapon master mode it replaces. It's slow moving and awkward, and really isn't worth anyone's time. This is completely absurd. For a nice taste of the special matches that made Weapon Master so addictive, the Soul Arena does offer the same challenges without the story cluttering things up. A tournament series featuring more advanced opponent AI than usual rounds out the package. You are strong. One day, you will succeed in life. Remember, kids, anytime someone tells you that, they're lying. Even the most dedicated fighting fanatic will take a long time to explore everything Soul Calibur 3 has to offer. It has arguably more for you to do than any other game in the genre. Plus, it's just as much a festival of multiplayer magnificence as its predecessors. A four out of five. You know, if you love the other Soul Calibur games, well, you'll love this one too. It's basically the same as the rest of the Soul Calibur games. That, that isn't a bad thing, though. Sure, it's not the most innovative game, but it's a lot of fun. You can button mash on it till the cows come home. Have the cows ever come home? No. They didn't even leave a note. No.